What's up guys, Jacob here, back with another video. This video I'm going to be going over a viewer of mine's matchups, or his his replays of his casual matches that he had against a diamond player. This was requested by him, and he needed help with this matchup. He mainly wanted me to critique his, um, you know, the match and tell him what he was doing wrong or anything. And yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna go over two replays. Check this one. I'm not sure if this was your last matchup, but I think this probably was your last matchup. So this is one you've kind of seen a little bit of what he got. Alright. Oh, he's around my rank. Well, that was a while ago, so he's like a little bit higher. Uh, he's a little bit lower. But yeah, okay, he's, he's good, he's good. Uh, should be experienced. He has the low 15 color. Nice bull slide. It's not safe you do it in the beginning of the match. He just happened to walk back and got hit. Oh, you didn't confirm that. You didn't know it was going to hit him though, I understand. Oh, you didn't confirm that either. Ooh, should have punched that better than that. Me and Punch, into me and Bullhead punches that. Alright, that's not safe yet. We got a bullhorn that night. Yeah. Alright, nice. Bullhorn that. That's punishable, but he doesn't know. Okay. Alright, nice cross up. Okay. Yeah, you can jump in on that, or you can uh, poke it. So you can do like the crouching light kick, or standing light kick into medium punch. It's a little harder to be doing like in a match. You have to practice against like that. You're gonna be practicing playing matches and doing that in like a match. Right, he jumped in on you throwing a can. Right, he kept doing that against you. Yeah. You're doing medium punch into the... I think he was doing heavy. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna tell you about that block chain a little bit. Ooh. Oh, you didn't punish. Oh, you didn't punish him. Damn it. Ah, uh, that was ambiguous. Yeah. Okay. I skip that. Final round. Fight. Alright. No, you're not punishing. I mean. That wasn't a punish, you don't have to punch that, it's safe, but... Alright, that's real. Can't jump in. No, low profile. Yeah, your super is a high. Yeah, Birdie's super is a high, so any uh, character that has a, a low profile attack will beat that. Yeah. Yeah, you shouldn't have jumped in there, you don't really want to jump in on Fong. Fong has uh, get setups off of his uh, anti air so be very careful with that. They just got put to the corner. Yep. If you wanted to attempt to jump in, maybe do EX Dolphin Dive. Just to... Yeah, because he seemed like he was just going to sit there. So... Alright, alright. So some of the blocks Sinead was doing wasn't real. So there's a couple of them that he was doing. So when he went into the medium kick, the medium kick is plus one on block. So... If he does light kick after the medium kick, it's not safe because it's a six frame attack. So doing a six frame after a, a plus one attack is like, like basically, he's, it's not good. He's it makes him minus. If kind of understand what I'm saying. So if you have a four frame or a three frame and you do some plus one against a character with a, three, a four frame, then it makes sense to do it because you trade or you beat him out. But if you're doing a six frame against a four frame character when you're doing some plus one, he's always gonna beat you. So don't let him do that. So yeah. So yeah. Even if he does crouch and light kick, which is a faster frame, is five frames. It would trade at most after a plus one. But if you have four frame, yeah, four frame will trade. So it just kind of pushes him away, so he doesn't get that um, crouching medium into the smoke. All right. All right. Ignore the messages. Hey, it's 
plus one, but he can't yet. You shouldn't let him just walk up on you like that. That was unfortunate. You got hit by the smoke. If you would have blocked and then did the, the bullhorn. Alright, that was input error. Yeah, he kind of swarmed you after you made a mistake with the uh, the chain, not chain grabbing him yet. You gotta sweep him a little more, preventing him from uh, trying to do the uh, push up stance into the kicks. I don't know what the name of the move is, but oh, you gotta punish that. You gotta punish that. That's plus, so you can't press anything. Alright, that's minus. Uh, that's minus two on block, the heavy punch. So you can pressure him. Yeah, right there, that's not real. That's not real. You can't do light kick after that, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty, you know, that's okay. He was just getting a little more off of you, knowing that, you know, you didn't know the frame data. Okay, that's, that's enough to know. Okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm a show what the heck to do against that. Alright. Alright. Oh, no, I watch again, now. Hold on. Fight. I didn't mean to press watch again. And he did wake up armor. He just happened not to punish you since he was walking back. Yeah, be careful with the armoring. Just be careful when just throwing stuff on um in the beginning of the match, because armoring in the beginning is very risky. Fawn could punish you with um uh back medium punch into the um the Sotoja, I think it was called, the light one. I think that's the name of it, yeah. Three. So be very careful with that. He could do a uh, back medium into Sotoja and then, yeah, be careful. Alright. Right, let me, actually, let me play Fong yeah, so you can see what the heck's going on. I think I have birdie set already to do a light kick if I'm not, I'm not sure. Right. Do I have a light kick set up? Okay, yeah, alright. That was from another matchup, alright. So, what he was doing is, after medium kick, he did... After the whole block screen, you know, when he's going into this, he did light kick, medium kick, and then press light kick, or crouch and light kick. So, let me show you that you should be using light kick yourself to stop him from doing that. So, this is plus one, but since he doesn't have any um, three frame attacks, it doesn't matter. He can't, you know, stop you. So, if he's going from here, you'll get stuffed out for doing light kick. So, he kind of rings it out. After the block screen, he gets, like, up to here. So, or here, like... Yeah, and you just keep getting stuffed out. So from the counter on the light kick, you go into medium punch and medium bullhead. And since you have meter at the time, you could have done, um, you know, EX bullhead into V trigger, crouching fierce into heavy or bullhorn to get a setup. And then you know you, you start your pressure after that, and it's your turn to to pressure him. And he had, he would either have to take a big risk trying to get out, or just hold the the pressure and wait for his opportunity himself. So yeah. So if, he, if he's able to space it out enough, he can, um, you know, punish you or whatever. But that's only if he's actually just using at this range. Like if he's doing this and then into that, you know, then he's able to do that. But if he's just throwing out like that, then he can't do anything. You, know, you have to use it. So from this distance, yeah, he could stop you from pressing light kick if you're pressing it too much. But since you're doing it at a good distance, he can't just do that. So he either going to that that will trade. So if he's doing this and crouching light kick, it will trade. So yeah. So you know the block string is crouching light kick into crouching medium and then into the smoke. You know that's a block string. I know it's like a Xian setup or whatever. So you could jab out the the cloud. Obviously, if you go from here at any distance, you'll be able to get jabbed out from doing it. So if he does it from max distance, he won't be able to hit you with the, the smoke. But that's only from max. Most of the time it's gonna trade. Yeah, if he goes for the heavy, then it's gonna get hit because it's too slow. So they are very minus or uh, well, I think the heavy one is not as minus. But the light one is punishable, but it pushes him back a little bit. 
so you're not able to really punish him. You have to use super. Yeah, you have to use super. Super punishes that. But medium punch sometimes, if he does like really close, but most of the fine players do set up so that they make it safe for them to not get punished. So be very careful, because if you attempt to try to press medium punch, they just whip punish you. From here, if you do a medium punch, they whip punish you with medium kick into the uh, Sotoja. So yeah. So that's like uh, just like thinking ahead and stuff like that. On top of all that. So yeah, after this, if you just crouch and light kick, it will trade. That's the safer option. Since you weren't doing anything, you went for a more unsafe option. Because you knew that you weren't um, doing anything about it. So, and this is very punishable. It's very minus on block. You can do medium punch bullhead. Yeah, it's like, yeah, crazy minus on block. Most of them, all of them are minus on block. To a point you can do medium punch, medium bullhead. And for most distances, you can punch it. Like, you know, even though it looks like he pushes you back a lot, medium punch still reaches. Because his hands are still out, so his hitbox is extended. So he has to recover his hitbox. His hitbox is still off for you to get, be able to do medium punch and medium uh, bullhead. So yeah, be careful with that. So anytime he's going from heavy punch into the, you know, the bull, or I mean the smoke, you should um, interrupt that. You interrupt that. This is not real. This into that is not real. You could do a bullhorn too, but it's a little risky if he just goes for this. So. The thing about it, you will let go. So what happens is that if he just goes for heavy punch and you do a bullhorn, it won't come out. You know, you're letting it go here in this situation. Since the hitbox opens up, since he's canceling, it will automatically come out. So if you let go when he's doing this, nothing will happen. You're in block stun. So then you press jab if he just goes for the heavy kick. If he just goes for heavy punch, he doesn't cancel. So it's like an option select that you do. So if he does a uh, heavy punch, it doesn't cancel, it's minus two on block. So it's like lowers heavy punch. You know, it's very ambiguous sometimes because you're always expecting something to be canceled after it. You know, birdie, you can always punish that, you know, heavy punch into the EX. Um, I never had trouble with lore. Only like one lore. And that's item, you know, really good lore. He doesn't use those things because he knows that birdie would beat those things. So you have to avoid those. And just go for straight uh, mix-ups. But since Laura's elbow isn't that good, you know, it's yeah. kind of really bad. So, yeah. Alright. Besides that, you know, you're able to bullhorn stuff, you know, that she does. But yeah. going back to Fong. What's going on? What's going on with the heavy yeah. punch? Yeah, since minus two, it can be ambiguous sometimes if you're not ready for him not to cancel. So that's why you do the light kick. So, yes. And if he does this into this... He has to do a light one. If he's going into like any more than that, it's not safe. Punish it. You can do bullhorn through it. You let him get away with this a lot. Since he hit you already, since you were pressing buttons, it, it got you into a state where now you have to defend and just hold the mix. Because you're pressing too much buttons that where you shouldn't be. So he just kept swarming you after that. And eventually you just broke down. He broke your defense. So you weren't really using your defense anymore. To a point where... You know, it, by the time you already start your defense, it's over. He has his uh, his setups on you, and then now you have to like hold the mix-ups and all this. You know, he can make uh, the heavy punch safe. So he has the cloud out already. He can make this safe if you try to. So let me. Maybe. Yeah. So he makes it safe if he does it like that. If he does heavy punch and you try to attempt to press the button, it makes it safe. And he does heavy punch. Yeah. I'm bad, I don't have Fong skills. Yeah. He's not able to punish you after, but he'll block the hit and then you'll get hit by the smoke. Then you probably do this again or something, or then that. And then pressure you from that. It's just like, you know, annoying pressure that you have to deal with. So, yeah, you know, little things. Besides that, you did pretty well. And just make sure that uh, you're sweeping this. Uh, crouching, light kick, stand, light kick beats um, Fongs who aren't meeting this uh, wake up. So since you have very good lows, you can stuff out his, um, you know, this. If you can't react with a sweep, you know, if he's doing this like mid-screen or like at a good distance, like right here. Or he's trying to hit you at the edge. If you're preemptively pressing sweep, you'll stuff him out. But mainly you want to be going for like crouching, light kick. Because, you know, a good farm will use it at the right time. So you obviously can't react with sweep. So you have to use like a low to stop him out.
to stop him and it will get a counter hit. You will get a counter hit off of that. Yeah! Alright. That's mainly what I saw that you're struggling with. Just not um, knowing some of the frame data and just be very careful with the um, yeah! with throwing cans down. Because any Fong that's around this range, you don't want to be throwing out. I'd advise using Crouching Fierce as an anti-air. Because a lot of Fongs have a habit yeah! of jumping in. Like when they're struggling to get in on birdie or whatever, like mid screen, you know, you're pushing them back a lot, you're punishing them. They're going to start going for like jump ins to get in like very quickly. So he was doing a lot of like heavy kick, um, heavy punch and walking back. Yeah, he wasn't like, it was very weird. He's waiting for you to do something. Yeah. That's very weird. So if I'm preemptively pressing light kick, I'll get hit by this though. Yeah. Or if I'm, yeah, if I'm blocking because this, I'll get hit. So it's very weird. Mo most finals don't really do that because how punishable it is. So that'll be more like a gimmick. So yeah. All right. So I think that's good for you know this um, video. I hope that you know you learned a little bit about Fong. You know, helped you out with the frame data a little bit. You might have known some stuff already, but you know, just needed a little brushing up on the matchup. So, hope I helped you out. And yeah, that's it for this video. Oh yeah, I went to NLBC. I got wrecked by well, not wrecked, but I lost to a matchup I should have won, which was Akuma. I didn't realize that Akuma had um, setups to beat Bullhorn, like to grab you out of the Bullhorn. So you could demon flip in certain setups that you can't Bullhorn out of. So, you know, people tell me, you know, Bullhorn, Bullhorn, but. You know, some setups you can't. You have to wait. So I'll go over that in a little bit, going over how to deal with, you know, the, the new setups that Akuma has to to go through the bullhorn. And, yeah, and that's kind of it, yeah. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I am out. Goodbye.